Hello everyone, Renee here. Welcome to my channel if you are new. And welcome to this week's Pick a Card reading. So this reading is going to be for the week of August 21st, 2023. It should be relevant from the 21st till about the 28th or so. So more or less from the 21st till the end of the month. So all you need to do is choose one of these three cards. Which card do you feel drawn to right now? Is it card number one? card number two, or card number three. Once you've made your decision, you can look below the timestamps and fast forward to your reading. I did also want to tell you that my deck is still on sale. It's half off for the entire month of August, so you've got about a week left to purchase my deck if you have not yet purchased it. It's going to be $27.50 with free shipping in the United States, so check it out in my Etsy shop. The link will be below. All right, which card are you drawn to? One, two, or three? Fast forward to your reading. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great week. Okay, group one, so let's see what your first card is for this week. It is Heartseize. This is your flower card, Heartseize. And the message here is that of compassion, and it says, tread a little more tenderly. Okay? There is your first oracle card. Let's draw a card from my deck. And see what else I can tell you about your week. So for you, we have Sienna with a message of plans, preparation, and training. So this week will most likely be a week of you planning, preparing, or training for something. It might be something brand new. Maybe you are starting a new job or you're back in school, but there is your second Oracle card. And let's get into the tarot. Okay, let's see what else I can tell you with the tarot. And then I think at the end, we'll draw one more Oracle card at the very end to kind of tie up your whole reading. So what do you need to know, group one, about this week? as we head towards the end of August. All right, we have two of wands. We have the magician. The ace of cups right in the middle. I love that for you, beautiful. Judgment. And the empress, okay. All right, so let's take a look. Sorry about the little bit of glare here. I'll have to, fix, have to fix the lighting. But, okay, two of wands, looking forward. Okay, from a new perspective as far as work goes. All right, so what I'm getting with the first few cards here is that you're contemplating your next move as far as work goes or your career or your business or anything having to do with how you pay the bills, right? You're figuring out what you need to do next. What is your next step to grow your business, to you know, um, get to the next level in your career or whatever that might be? Because you've worked very hard to get where you are now. And you're just not quite sure yet what you need to do to get to that next level or next step. I do feel like with the Ace coming right after that, even though it's a more emotional Ace, being the Ace of Cups, um, that you will come up with something. You will come up with some kind of a plan, but I kind of get the feeling that you're not in a rush, you know? You're not really strapped for time here to make up your mind about the next step. You've got a little bit of time, but that's definitely your, your focus here at the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. And then we have Ace of Cups, beautiful card. Bliss, joy, love can mean a soulmate. Let's draw on that card for you. All right, the Eight of Wands and the Four. Yeah, there's action being t being taken in a relationship, okay? Um, sorry, I have no nails anymore. <laughs> I chopped them all off because <laughs> I've been doing art and stuff. Um, but this is all about maybe going to the next level or taking things to the next level in your relationship, okay? You're taking action, whatever that action leads to. For most of you, it's going to be in 
you know, something more serious. Again, the next level, whatever that is for you. But some of you, it might mean something along the lines of, you know, maybe memories of a relationship and you're moving on from a relationship. So it's going to be different for all of you. But whatever it might be, it is good and it is healthy. There is not a high level of drama. There's not a high level of, of fear or worry or anxiety in the area of a relationship. I feel like if you're not in a relationship, this is kind of saying you're ready to take action to maybe be in a relationship or find your person. Maybe you've been alone for a while or you are widowed or you had, um, you know, somewhat of a traumatic breakup or ending to a relationship and it's been a long time since you maybe have even dated. This is kind of saying, okay, I think I'm ready to put myself out there, okay? And it looks to be very positive if you do that, if you trust your intuition. There's judgment here, and judgment can mean enlightenment. So this could be, an, could be a period of enlightenment for you, group two. In what area? Let's draw on that. All right, we have Queen of Cups and Temperance. There's balance here. It's emotional balance. Just overall with the cards and the way they're laid out so far. And we have Empress here. Group one, definitely it's kind of telling us that things are balanced out this week. You are emotionally stable. You're calming down. You're taking some deep breaths. There's a little bit of a respite. There's a little bit of a resting period for you in all areas of your life. Just overall, the energy for you is kind of calm. Okay, and I would add, it says tread a little more tenderly. That means you, for you, and things that you're doing for you. Take it easy on yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Have some compassion for yourself. You have maybe come through a really tough time previously, and you're on your way to emotional healing. Okay, you're on your way to emotional healing and to feeling better, emotionally especially. Now, the Empress is all about fertility. It can mean family. It can sometimes mean pregnancy and things like that. We've got celebrating and the Queen of Coins. Now, for me, this probably means there's something to celebrate that has to do with femininity. You could be um, a bridesmaid or a bride. You're engaged or you might be pregnant or you might be adopting a child or you might be celebrating a child or celebrating a child's birthday or a child's accomplishment. Um, it could also mean celebrating your mother, celebrating your mother's birthday or um, something to do with that. Because even with the queen of coins, there's this, and the empress, there's this nurturing energy, this earth energy that's kind of combining with the water. So it's, it's a calm, motherly, fertile energy probably having to do with you and your connection with other people, probably females, okay? So that's happy news. That's good news. That's something to celebrate. It's kind of what it looks like. Let's draw you a final card group one from my handmade deck, not for sale. This is all handmade. I'm just going to try to sort of shuffle them without dropping them all. I haven't done the backs yet. Obviously, they're just on card stock, but Let's get a final card for you, group one. And then we'll take a look at the colors and the numbers. All right, let's just do this one. And it is animal, okay? So there is a connection for you and animals this week. Maybe a kinship, maybe you're spending more time with a pet or you're adopting a pet, or you go to the zoo. I mean, it could literally have anything to do with animal, animal energy, animals in nature, maybe spirit animals, power animals, which animal image is kind of calling to you right now that might be your spirit animal or your current power animal. We're born with the spirit animal, power animals come in at random times to lend us whatever gifts they embody or are characterized by. So yeah, maybe there's an animal kind of calling to you this week, group one. 
very interesting and a lot of earth tones here I mean overall we've got sienna we've got the brown we've got the green I think the brown and the green are kind of standing out the most green is the heart chakra and brown can usually mean the root chakra again heart is um, emotions right like cups in the tarot are hearts in a regular deck of cards so we've got the cups and we do have a little bit of wand energy as well but a lot of earth energy I would say you know Sienna's kind of earthy and fiery so there's a little bit of of planned action we do have the eight of wands here there's planned thought out action taking place for you this week but it is definitely emotionally based and it's going to result in you overall feeling calm calmer and perhaps happier so i hope this helps you and i hope you have a great week i will see you next time bye all right group two let's see what your first card is for these last few days of august your flower card is African Violet, and it reads spirituality. It's time to connect with what you believe. Okay? It's the African Violet. Beautiful. I love that. Let's draw another oracle card for you from my deck, group two. I might have said group three. Sorry if I did. Group two. <laughs> So let's see what else I can tell you about your week. All right, let's do this one. We have ivory with the message of charm, finesse, and poise. So there might be a situation this week, group two, where your, your charm, your finesse, your poise will be necessary keep your cool right stay focused stay calm stay classy essentially is the message from ivory goddess all right let's get into the tarot and see what else i can tell you about these last eight nine ten days of august for you, group two. Okay. Strength. Page of coins. Ace of wands. Five of wands and the knight of swords okay so strength is your first card let's draw on that we've got page of cups and page of coins Ooh. okay good news coming your way there's something brewing group two some news coming your way some kind of an offer especially with that ace of wands this might be a job offer this might be receiving a scholarship for school or some kind of financial assistance but whatever it is it's good news that has to do with finances okay and we've got the hierophant here kind of to remind you that this is kind of a tradition of sorts so it's not from an unforeseen source it's kind of a traditional source it might make sense to you let me know in the comments but that's kind of how the cards are reading all right i forgot which one was there i think this was there but so definitely good news about work school social or your business let's just draw one more card about that and the fool is not foolish the fool is taking a risk so the answer here is for you to possibly take a risk to possibly take the offer obviously trust yourself trust your own intuition do what's right for you but i would say at the very least consider this offer very seriously okay 
We have a conflict here. What is the conflict? What does it have to do with? Ten of coins, the chariot, and the moon. Something unforeseen. Okay. There's a conflict here. Something unforeseen about finances in the future. Or some type of retirement plan, 401k, some kind of investment that you think would be paying off in the further future. There's something more you need to know about that. All right. So I would say don't do any investing unless you talk to some people that you really do trust and you've really done your research. And also, I don't know, I feel like number five is relevant here to the financial stuff. So keep number five in mind. Might mean five, 15, 25 years. I don't know. Number five is relevant. So keep that in mind. We have the Knight of Swords. Let's draw on that. Ooh, facing the Knight of Coins. That's interesting. And then the Sun. Okay. So this could be children. If you have two sons, that would make the most obvious sense that are kind of head on facing each other. Maybe that's a conflict. Um, at the very least, they're having a discussion. These two people, they don't have to be males. They could be females, but they're very, very different. That's the key thing here. The Knight of Swords is very impulsive. Okay. He's also very warrior like he or she. And the Knight of Coins is very pensive and very careful and very reliable and responsible. And he moves very slowly because he takes very deliberate steps. You can see they're just, they're opposites and they're head to head here. So this could even be some kind of a conflict within yourself. Now the sun tells us that you do resolve the conflict or the conflict is resolved by going head to head. So if it is within yourself, you want to list things out, do something manually or tactily, make a list of pros or cons, make a list, a list of why or why not, or whatever it is that's going on, whatever it is you're trying to decide upon, um, make a list, make a chart, something visual, something tactile that you can kind of step back and take a look at with a fresh set of eyes, okay? And, and don't worry too much. Everything's going to be just fine. Everything's gonna be fine. And the energy so far for you, group two, is definitely that of opportunities. I feel like there's opportunities coming your way and you're gonna have to make some choices. Interesting as well, because group one also had an ace right in the middle as card number three out of the first five I laid down. They had ace of cups, you have ace of wands. So your ace has more to do with work, school, sociability, or a business or a project or your creative endeavors. So there could be opportunities coming your way in regards to any of those things or a few of those things could be more than one. You want to connect with what you believe in the spirituality here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me take a sip of water. You want to keep your poise in any situation. Even if there's an active conflict around you between two people you love, you want to be the calm one in the middle, right? You want to be the calm one who is able to maybe temper the situation a little bit. It's kind of what I'm getting here. Then there's, of course, a question here of maybe... Um, investing for the future. So that's interesting as well. Let's draw you a final card from my handmade deck. This one is not yet for sale. This is all just on cardstock. But let's draw you a final card, group two. All right, let's do this one. And you have sun the sun or sunshine. And isn't that interesting? Your sun card is right on top. So that's a major theme for you is the sun. The sun will shine again. If you're worried, if you've been down in the dumps, if you've been worried about anything, work, school, health, 
your kids, your parents, your friends, your spouse, your significant other. Everything looks pretty good this week. There's a type of sunny, sunshiny, summery energy. And yet paired with some poise. So it's not a crazy active um, type of energy. It's, it's more of a being joyful and not being afraid to take a chance and just staying optimistic. That's the word I was searching for, optimism, optimism. That's what it's representing to me right now for you is optimism. So keep your cool. Consider any type of offer that's coming your way. Know that any kind of conflicts are going to be resolved and stay optimistic, all right? All right, I hope this helps you. I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, group three, how are you? And you get a different lighting setup. I'm trying to figure out the lighting in this room I'm working in now, and I don't think I have it quite right yet. You can see the shadows, but hopefully that won't bother you. I'll figure it out. Anyway, let's get to your reading. Your first card is geraniums. There's your flower for the week, geranium. And it reads virility. Shake it up a little. You've got this. All right. Shake it up a little. You've got this, group three. No worries. Shake it up. Take a risk. It'll all be okay. Let's draw a card from my deck. Which did I mention? It's still on sale. <laughs> Check it out in my Etsy shop. All right, group three. Burgundy goddess with a message of ambition, honor, and respect. You are on your way to being honored, to being respected. You are a respectful person. You are a respected person possibly in your field, your career, or your business, or maybe even just your, your social structure. Let's dive into the tarot and see what else I can tell you. Straighten that out. What else does group three need to know about their week? All right, here we go. Ace of Wands, beautiful first card. Empress. Ace of Swords, two aces for group three and the third ace that is in the center. All groups this week got an ace smack dab in the middle out of the first five cards. I love that. King of Swords, but you got two aces and the two of swords okay all right so the ace of wands great card new beginning fresh start in the area of work school career creative endeavor or business or sometimes sociability being sociable we've got queen of cups on top of that and we've got temperance interesting because i saw this combination in one of the other two readings where emotions are calmed okay um, you're feeling emotionally balanced. You're okay with this new beginning. You're not stressed about it. You're not second guessing your choices that led you to this new beginning. You're good. You're happy. You're content. This is a fresh start in some area of your life. And it's starting right now. Empress is fertility. Femininity. There's the page of wands on top of that and the page of swords, two pages. We've seen this in another reading this week, two pages right next to each other. So you have some kind of message or offer coming your way. For you, I feel like it's communication. Um, either you're communicating with a mother figure or you have children or stepchildren that are communicating with you. There's something to do with the mother figure and communicating to that mother figure. It could even mean channeling. If you've if your mother 
or a child has passed on, there is some kind of communication happening this week, okay? And I do feel that it's a bit spiritual and of course, joyful. Ace of Swords, what on earth can this ace mean? In this case, I mean, in any case, it means clear communication. It can mean a fresh start with communicating with someone, like in a relationship, it means there's a fresh start. You're starting to talk to each other and get emotions out, etc. It's also clear mindedness, like making a decision and being very clear on what you're deciding. We've got the chariot and the king of wands. Ooh, two kings, very interesting. Okay, okay. It might have to do with this Two of Swords. Let me just draw on that first. Uh, of course, that's what I thought. You, my friend, might have to make a choice between two people. Maybe you are dating two people. It doesn't matter if they're men, even though these are kings. They could be females. The gender doesn't really matter. Um, and actually, the original lover's card meant and showed a person choosing between two people. I feel like that's just kind of echoed here. It just, this validated everything for me, what I was feeling psychically. I feel like you're choosing between two people. Now, it doesn't mean necessarily that you're dating two people. It might mean that, let's say your spouse is deceased and you're not, you haven't really gotten over them. This is the turning point. You move forward with your new partner and let go of the past or you don't or you hold on to the past and you let go of your your new partner or your current partner that's what it could mean um but obviously it also could mean you're dating two people or you're in love with two people or two people are in love with you and someone has to make a choice okay so that's kind of what it means which choice is going to be right for you i can't tell you that that is your free will. I think this was here. I can draw maybe one card on each of these kings and just tell you a little bit about that. Maybe. Let's see. All right, there's the nine on the king of wands and the three. I mean, on the king of swords, it shows you working together or teaching each other or being taught by this person. So maybe there's a work connection. King of wands, there might be a home connection. Uh, maybe that's the person you're with now or who you were already with. There's the star and the knight of swords. Okay, the star is a wish card. Maybe you wish it would have la lasted or worked out. Knight of Swords for me in a love reading can mean knight in shining armor. This person could literally be rescuing you from the, <coughs> excuse me, the fuselage or whatever, the debris of this relationship that has ended. It was wonderful, but it ended. And it may not have ended easily or well, but while you were together, it was ideal. It was wonderful and magical. But I feel like Whoever this King of Swords is, that might be the route to go, this new person, okay? Um, of course, you have to make your own choices. It's your life. But I will tell you, neither path looks necessarily bad. I can tell you that. So the choice is literally in your hands, okay? So what else? Let's see. Let's draw you a card from my handmade deck which I have not done the backs yet and there's still stickers falling off, but let's see. What else can I tell group three? Sorry, I'm just trying to shuffle. All right, let's do this one. And for you, we have travel. We have excursion, a trip. You can see all the symbols of travel camera, train, a globe, a ship or boat, the hot air balloon. So your week might involve travel or planning a travel or trip or excursion. Or maybe you're going to be going on a trip with your person. And maybe that's going to kind of solidify the relationship. And that's going to be the catalyst for you to let go of the old. 
that's a possibility. So let's take a look at Burgundy one more time. Yeah, you're definitely, it. your work stuff is good. You're, you're definitely working your way to a high level of respect and notoriety. There's not a lot to worry about in your work or career or business situation. Um, but it's interesting how we did have shake it up a little. You've got this. I think that just kind of means try something new. For example, if you've never flown or been on a plane or been on a boat, maybe try that. Maybe plan that. Something new, something different. Shake it up a little. You've got this. You're going to be fine. You're going to be okay. Don't be afraid to do something different. Okay? That's kind of your theme. Don't be afraid to do something different. Color for you, I feel, is the pink, the red realm of pink, red, and burgundy. So, yeah, pretty much that's like the root chakra or a little bit of the heart, but mainly those lower chakras, which have to do with security and stability and feeling secure and feeling confident and feeling, you know, attractive and um, sexy and feeling romantic love and chemistry and all that stuff. So focus on the reds this week. And yeah, don't be afraid to jump into something if your heart's directing you towards it and don't be afraid to try something new okay have a great week